And he's with us now. Your wish is our command, Mo. First of all, from all of us, huge congratulations. Just take us and more importantly, the Liverpool fans watching this inside that dressing room right now. What was being said? What was the atmosphere like? Uh, it's, it's great to be in the final for three times in five years. It's unbelievable. Uh, everybody's happy inside. I'm sure they're going to celebrate, drink a little bit, but we have a game uh, next week. Oh, so we have to focus on it as well. So we just uh, we celebrate today. Tomorrow still we start from uh, as a new day and we just go from there. You talk about uh, celebrating. How long do them celebrations last? I remember when I played and you had big moments. You, you don't, they don't last long because you're so focused on what's next. It, when would, would your mind then immediately be on to the next game, Spurs at the weekend? I think I think tomorrow. Like today, you have to enjoy it. You are in the final, so you have to give it time. You have to you have to enjoy the moment. But then from tomorrow, it's a different competition. You can't lose a game against Spurs. So I think you will just enjoy tonight. Then we'll go again from tomorrow. <laughs> Mo, how how special is this team, and that you can go from playing in the first half and being dominated by Villarreal to just in a moment and totally dominate and and almost kill the game within minutes. I think it's, it was tough in the first half, but then we went to the dressing room, the gaffers started talk and players talked to each other as well. That shows uh, character and personality in the dressing room, shows that we, we, we are in top team, uh, we are in top level. So that's why we can uh, strike back after losing 2 the first half, play away. So it's, uh, it's, uh, I think it makes the win more exciting. Is the gaffer talking or is he shouting? <laughs> Not talking. Not talking. <laughs> he was more talking than in the end shouting. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, how do you keep your personal level so high? You know, you've mm. been away for the African nations, and you've come back and you play most games. How do you keep your levels so high? I think, um, I don't know, I just give, give the team everything. In, in Egypt, also in the tournament, I give everything for the national team. You came back, it's, um, it's gone already, the competition there was Egypt gone, so you have to focus with the team now. Um, because we fight for everything, so we win one trophy, so now we're in the final, we also keep fighting for the Premier League and we have a final against Chelsea. So just like I stay, I stay in my way, I just focus, I train hard, just try to recover and just stay away from everything. Just focus, I know what I want in the end of the season, so hopefully I can get what I want. Talk, talking about knowing what you want at the, at the end of the season, at the beginning, do you set yourself targets goal-wise and assist-wise? Always, 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 yeah. always, before the season start and uh, I know what I want from the season, individual and collective for sure. Collective is the, the most important thing and the first target for the team as well. Um, so, so I think... 30 goals and 15 assists already. Is that, is that above <laughs> or below where you were expecting? <laughs> Not below. <laughs> <Still like it's, laughs> is it? I'm nearly there, yeah. yeah Go I'm on, always what was have the target? A, I have a big expectation for myself. Honestly, I never said that before, but before the season starts, I was like, OK, I go for 40 goals this season and yeah, 10 assists, 15 assists. So now I reach assists. So you hit the so assist. I need to focus on the goals now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see a selfish Mo Salah, selfish Mo Salah yeah, for the next like, few games. Yeah. I think now uh, Trent is going to be angry because I'm the highest assist in the Premier League, but yeah. I, um, <laughs> I'm going to go for everything, so hopefully. And even in your wildest dreams, when you were setting your targets for the start of the season, the quadruple was not part of that thinking was it no because it's most assists is not it's not something really big the top score is always something really big for the team but i still like like today when i give the ball to fab it changed everything the game it changed when we scored the first goal so assist count for sure uh, goals as well i think uh, i'm a two form the, the team is doing unbelievable so um, let's let's hope for the best and when you talk about your targets away from a personal target for the team target yeah. Is it the quadruple? Is that your personal target now? Are yeah, you thinking sure. about that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, maybe not in the beginning of the season because I'm always uh, honest, but I always focus on Champions League and the Premier League. But now we are close for everything, so why not? So do you remember when you started to think this is possible? Uh, I think um, after we beat like City in the uh, semi-final, that's the cup. But I think in the Champions League from the beginning, after the group stage, we were playing unbelievable games and we, we have a really tough group. So we beat everybody. So I, I started in this time, I said, OK, we're going to win the Champions League this year. L looking uh, forward to, to tomorrow, to the other semi-final, Man City versus Real Madrid. Great game last week. We asked Virgil before, do you have a preference? Which side you play? Engli uh, the English team or the Spanish team? Well, uh, yeah. I want to play Madrid, but uh, I have to be honest, uh, City is a really tough team. We play against them a few times this season. But I think it's, uh, if you ask me personally, I would prefer Madrid. Mm. A little Why? bit of payback? 
because we lost in the final before <laughs> against them. <laughs> so I want, I want, uh, I want to play against them. Uh, hopefully, we win it from them as well. Sure. Brilliant. And the final question: Look, we have uh, obviously lots of Liverpool fans watching this, but also lots of footballers, young footballers, who are not operating at the level you're operating at, but with big dreams. What do you go through to not allow the situation you're in to overawe you? How do you keep calm when you're fighting on so many fronts and the opportunity is so huge here? Yeah. I think you don't have to think about all of that. You just take it day by day, uh, game by game. I just like need to focus on your work. The most important thing is to work hard. Just stay in your way. Don't, don't listen to anyone. Just know your target. Uh, set a uh, goal in your mind and just go from there. Great. OK, so we're expecting four trophies and ten more goals. <laughs> and you've reached yeah, the target, Five games Mo. left to buy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Top man, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Well a great done. night Thank for you. you. Well, nice one, and a great night for Liverpool. Thanks very much for joining us.